हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद द डिस्कशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस लेक्चर लेट्स डिस्कस द रेस्ट इंपोर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस ऑन एनिमल हजबेंड्री दिस क्वेश्चंस आर डिजाइंड फॉर द एग्जामिनेशंस लाइक आईबीपीएस एग्रीकल्चर फील्ड ऑफिसर्स नाबार्ड आरडीबीएस ग्रेड ए एग्जामिनेशन एंड वेरियस अदर स्टेट वेटनरी पीएससी एग्जामिनेशंस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द एक्ट ऑफ एग लेइंग इन बार्स इज नोन एज ओविपोजिशन इट्स अ वेरी इंपोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड द रेस्ट इनक्यूबेशन एंड हेचिंग आर द प्रोसेस इन विच द ए चिक्स इज कमिंग आउट ऑफ द एग सो इनक्यूबेशन एंड हेचिंग आल्सो इंपोर्टेंट सो द एक्ट ऑफ लेइंग एग इन बार इज नोन एज ओविपोजिशन कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच विटामिन इज एब्सेंट इन एग मीट एंड मीट सो The correct answer is vitamin C. Which component of a egg constitute highest percentage? It's a very important question. And you just remember the cell and cell membrane of the egg constitute only eleven percent. The albumin contains fifty eight percent, and the yolk contains thirty one percent. And it's a very negligible amount. So obviously the answer is albumin. Come to the third question. Important terminology is related to the poultry birds. Sometimes the examiner they ask what do you mean by layer, the broiler, the capon, the cocker, the poultry, the the pullet, the cock or roaster, and the hopper. So you just write the definitions of the layer. So layer is a poultry bird arranged for the egg production. Broiler are the birds arranged. For the purpose of meat, here one question is coming. The layers are raised for commercial layers seventy two weeks. After the after they are disposed to the market, the broilers are kept for only six weeks. What do you mean by capon? So capon is a castrated male bird. What do you mean by cockerel? Cockerel is a bird. below 1 year of age what do you mean by pullet pullet is a female bird which lay eggs for the first time which lay eggs for the first time what is the cock means cock means the adult male fowl male bird then what do you mean by hover hover is nothing but it is a uh, heat generating substance and it is used for brooding means the chicks which are coming out of the uh, egg they need an artificial uh, temperature and they are being kept in hover coming to the next question the process to detect the internal egg quality by passing light is known as handling it's a very important It's a very important process. Here the egg is there on a tray, and the continuous light is passed, and we see the internal content whether there is blood spot or there is dead of the fetus, and all these things we observe. So it is a process known as handling. And you just mentioned here, so in twenty one in twenty uh, one days of your incubation and hatching, handling done at seven days. On seventh day. And another is on eighteenth day. One is on seventh day. Another is on eighteenth day. You just remember. Coming to the next question. The temperature in degree centigrade and humidity for incubator. In incubator is a, uh, a machine where the eggs are kept for the purpose of development of the your chicks inside the egg. So. It is very important. You just remember this data. It is thirty-seven point six degree centigrade in sixty percent humidity. Another thing you remember in incubator generally poultry eggs are kept for eighteen days. Okay, very important. Total out of twenty-one days, eighteen days in incubator and three days in hatcher. Very important. The similar question: the temperature uh, in degree centigrade. And humidity for hatching. I am hatching in last three days. We kept in hatching. 
सो दी दी सो दी करेक्ट आंसर इज थर्टी सेवेन पॉइंट सिक्स डिग्री फॉर सेवेंटी परसेंट ह्यूमिडिटी कम टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दी कोलेस्ट्रॉल कंटेंट ऑफ़ स्टैंडर्ड पोल्ट्री एक ऑफ़ फिफ्टी एट ग्राम इज हाउ मच वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स अ फ्रिक्वेंट लास्ट क्वेश्चन इन एग्जामिनेशन इट इज टू थर्टी ग्राम स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन एंड जस्ट सी सम इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्ट्स रिगार्डिंग द पोल्ट्री सो सर डिज इज चिक एंड हाउ मच फ्लोर स्पेस इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड टेम्परेचर ऑफ द ब्रूडर मीन्स वे आर दी फिक्स आर कैप्ट आर्टिफिशियल अंडर दि आर्टिफिशियल लाइट सो ड्यूरिंग फास्ट विक सो दि पर चिक्स रिक्वायर हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एंड दिस इज भेरी भेरी इंपोर्टेंट दिस टेम्परेचर इट इज फास्ट टाइम इट इज नाइंटी फाइव डिग्री एंड वेन दि डेज आर पासींग ऑन दि the uh, body size also uh, cheek also grows so it requires more floor space and in the light requirement is gradually declining and by the fifth to eighth week it is 80 that's very important question coming to the next one the meat is known as the meat is also known as kalamasi is from kodaknath this kodaknath is a very important one and it recently got the gi tag by the Satisod government and the and this Kodaknath is has a very uh, huge demand in the market and the color of the meat is black it has some medicinal value for up and better to say it has aphrodisic property aphrodisic property it has low cholesterol in the meat and it is highly recommended for diabetic and cardiovascular affected people so this poultry is now gaining an immense uh, market importance coming to the question the age from which a layer starts laying eggs it is generally 18 weeks and in some books it is 22 weeks but according to the navar it is on it is 22 weeks so there are two types of bird are there poultry birds are there one is for meat purpose another is for egg purpose the meat purpose bird are known as broiler and the egg purpose birds are known as layer so the broilers are kept for six weeks and the layers are kept for 72 weeks and after they are disposed to the market coming to the next question the orientation of a poultry cell must be in in which direction it must be in east to west direction okay it is west it is east the orientation must be in this direction so, the, so that light can be cannot fall on the poultry birds but the wall here the wall the poultry will okay. some important facts let's discuss <coughs> india is the third largest egg producer in the world and fifth for broiler according to 12 life census the last 12 life census was carried out in 2000 in 2012 Remember students, uh, the annual census or the lifestyle census carried out in every five years. So the uh, recent census was completed in the year 2019 and the data are yet to be published by the government. The ICMR means the Indian Council of Medical Research recommended egg consumption 180 egg per capita per annum. The force space requirement for birds in the brooder come grower house is one square feet and it is cage. If you are you know, uh, keeping in the cage system, then it is a little bit less, 0.8 square feet. In uh, If you are arranging the poultry in the deep litter system, then the litter material means the uh, the mattress uh, being uh, that are being on the floor for the smoothness of this uh, for working, it is a 2 to 3 inches. Very important. Broiler is reared for eye for to six weeks and layer is for seventy weeks. And dear students, please go to the important varieties of the poultry related to the your American class, English class, Asiatic class, all these things class you should remember. Coming to the extension act coming to the extensional activities, let's discuss some of the uh, development program after independence. So all so I have taken all the importance important development program the key village scheme the community development program the national extension service the icdp the kcb and kendra establishment the rkby project 
राष्ट्रीय गोकुल मिशन इज इज नाउ इट न्यूज एंड गोवर्धन स्कूल सो रिवर्समेंट ऑल दी इम्पोर्टेंट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इज इज आर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर नॉट ओनली फॉर दियर बैंकिंग एग्जामिनेशन फॉर द स्टेट लेवल पी एच सी एग्जाम एन एनी एग्जामिनेशन एन एन एनी एज एन 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 एनी इंटरव्यू को दे विल एक्स दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस स्कीम द क्वेश्चन इज कमिंग हुई स्कीम इज नोन एज द मदर ऑफ द ऑल दी स्कीम्स इन एनिमल हजबेंड सेक्टर सो दिस इज द के वी एस मीन की विलेज स्कीम विच वॉज कैरेड आउट इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी टू Here also, student, this uh, slide is also very important. Some of the important program was exercised uh, during the pre-independent and the post-independent era, and some of the, and the implement implement year, and these peoples are associated with this program. So, it is also a very important question. Like this scheme of rural reconstruction by Daniel Hamilton, Gurugram experiment. It's a very important question, and by uh, Mr. F. L. Bryan, the Martha Dam project was carried out in nineteen twenty one. By Dr. Spencer H. The Hilka development always remember today. This was it is in Madras, and and the uh, the most the sole motto was for Ram Swaraj. The Itawa project the Itawa pilot project was carried out in nineteen forty eight, and the main convener was Albert Mayer, and the Mazdoor Manjil by S. K. De in Nilokheri a uh, place in Punjab, and the Sarbodhi program was for Acharya Vinoba Bhave. Coming to here, coming to the some important uh, gestation period, and it is difficult classroom examination. The cattle is two eighty days, and the student it is buffalo three one ten, sheep one forty five, goat one fifty four, dog sixty two, pig one one four, yes. Sorry, is sorry student it is three four one, not two four one, three four one, and the placental type. If you for if you are going for the IUPS examination, then it, you need to remember. If you are going for NAPAD examination, or turning to your uh, VBS degree, then you should remember the placental type. It's a very important question. So generally, the uh, like in menstrual flow in females in human females in cattle, it is known as estrus period. The total days is twenty one days, and the uh, exhibition of the or uh, the uh, uh, estrus behavior is for to fourteen twelve to fourteen hours. Generally, the egg which is coming from the corpus luteum is twelve hours after the manifestation of the estrus. So, artificial insemination carried carried out at the mid of the estrus phase. So, dear students, please, please, please remember this chapter. All are important, especially the uh, fat portion of the double tone milk, tone milk, standard milk, and cow milk. Very, very important, and the the combined milk. Dear students, this is very important. Very very important. Coming to the pasteurization. Pasteurization uh, is a process in which we are killing the microorganisms by uh, not sorry, but the microorganisms. No, sorry, along with its spore. There are uh, different types of uh, pasteurization. There is LT LT low temperature long time. It is also known as batch. Sorry, bottle pasteurization. It is sixty three degree for thirty minute. It is high temperature short time and seventy two degree centigrade for fifteen second. Stasonization is a process. It is seventy four. Dear student, please remember uh, the HTST also known as fast pasteurization. And the operization is one fifty degree centigrade for the. Sorry. Dear student, please remember the fast three. The LTST, HTST, and the stasonization. Very important. Coming to the next uh, uh, detail, so sometimes the IUP in IUPS they ask the question regarding the khoa. So different types of khoa are there. The fat portion, the examples. So remember. Another thing is there the cow milk and the buffalo milk. They ask for the khoa in khoa preparation. They ask for the fat portion. That's in how much fat is suitable for the khoa preparation. Some special point of the khoa. So, buffalo milk is generally preferred for the khoa preparation, and a minimum level of four percent cow milk and five percent buffalo milk is necessary to obtain a good quality khoa. So, 
sorry students and some of the important uh, milk point is uh, the decision of this transmitter through the uh, your milk route you, you need not to remember all these things but these uh, for the NABAD examination you should just have an idea so you remember the classification of the diary products what is the concentrated products what is the coagulated products what is the purified products so khoa rabri is a concentrated non milk product coagulate means we are heating churning it's a dahi paneer all these things so you just remember the names because the milk product are very important for the examination point of view the real acidity in milk is due to the development of your what acidic acid important you just write in a note next question the most and least variable component in milk are the most variable is fat sorry the most variable is fat and the least is lactose this is milk sugar this is fat coming to the next question the sugar and the protein found in the milk are high volatile sugar is nothing but the lactose the protein is nothing but casein dear student i apologize on we have my wrong or wrong saying in the previous lecture in which i said the renin is the milk protein not please student correct it with that casein next question the process of breaking down of milk fat particle into smaller one uh, that is in it is 2 micron is known as homogenize it's a process of breaking down the fat milk into smaller particles Lactofigation is a process of killing the germs or uh, microorganisms. Centrifugation is nothing. And the sterilization is the killing of the microorganisms along with the spore. Very important. The first test of milk is done at collection center is COB test. Do you remember? Clot on boil test. What is the Helser test? Helser test if we mix cow milk with buffalo milk, then by Helser test we can detect. What is the MBR test? What is MBR? What is MBR test? MBR test is a, uh, a, it is a reduction test, and when we can know how much low or how much amount of microorganisms present in raw milk sample if temperature increases the specific gravity of the milk what decreases so temperature and specific gravity they are inversely proportional just remember this is the the uh, relation between uh, between them next coming to the question the clarified water is also known as ghee you remember this Dohi is a but fermented product. Skim milk is a here there is no fat percentage. There is nothing. Ghee is a clarified butter. Dohi is a fermented product. Next coming the question. The fat percentage and as well as the sugar percentage in the ice it is you know and it is a BIS specification or FSSAI 2011 specification. Inflammation of the mammary gland means the inflammation of the mammary, mammary gland means the order where we are getting the milk is known as mastitis. Important question. Cystitis is the inflammation of your gallbladder. The plate count of pasteurized milk should not exceed 30,000 ml per day. Raw milk. The white color and the viscosity of the milk is due to the a casein protein. So this is a true protein. Coming to the question, the uh, pulsation for milking machine for cattle in a flower, 30 by uh, 60 by 40 and 50 by 50. When we are going for the milking machines for the uh, collection of milk instead of hand milk so this is the pulsation rate so the last question 
the fat percent uh, is best estimated by using which method? So it is by Garber's meter method. And this method is exercised in the apparatus known as succinate apparatus. So dear students, please remember this name of the apparatus. Hope this video will be helpful. Will be helpful for those aspirants preparing for the NABAR and the other IVPS examination, and as well as the other state veterinary examination. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.